What's good, y'all? As you wrote in that title, I'm about to show y'all how to make four foot marquees step by step. No gatekeeping, no follow this link, go follow this page, go watch this video, go do all these steps. No, y'all about to get the sauce in this one video. I'm about to show y'all everything that I learned for free. So make sure y'all have a pen and a paper and write down everything I'm gonna tell you. So right now I'm at the store that I like to go to to get all my products. I go to Lowe's, but you can go to Home Depot if you would like. I already got most of the materials I need, so I'm just coming here for the wood. And uh, I'm gonna show you which type of wood to get, uh, which type of wood I used to get when I started out, and what type of wood I use now. And um, go over a couple of things that you might need that you don't have. If I walk past the aisle, I'll show you, but basically, when I get back to the house, I'm gonna give you a checklist of everything that you need and everything that I have, I'm gonna show you. I'll put it on the screen also. And um, yeah, we about to go right into the lows. Make sure you like and you subscribe and I'll see y'all in the lows. Okay y'all, so you want, you're gonna to wanna to come to the plywood. This is all I need from out of here. So I'm just gonna show you a couple options. Um, the cheaper options versus but the cheaper and affordable options and the options where um, they're a little bit more pricey, but it, you'll do less work picking those ones. So, um, so this is what I'm, today I'm getting this. I'm getting this half inch premium um, wood right here. It's already sanded, like it's not, it's not even sanded, but it's smooth. It's a little pricey. It's, it's, I think it's about $50 a sheet, but um, if you get this, you don't have to sand, you don't have to worry about holes, you don't have to worry about cracks or anything because it's just all smooth, right? This is what I use now. So I used to get this. You know, I used to get this plywood right here. It's half an inch sanded plywood, but what used to happen is, if you look on the ends here, you know, it was always cracked up. It was always cracked up, you know, and still hard to use, even though it was sanded. And how you can tell if it's sanded or unsanded is, if it's green, that means that it's sanded. If you see the lines in this green, that means that it's sanded. If you come across lines that are black, then that means that it's unsanded. So if you didn't know that, now you know today, write that down in your notebook. If it's green, that means it's sanded. If it's black, that means it's unsanded. And that's what I used to use. Underlayment, you use that, 32 a pop, so 32 each. And this is where, this is what you're gonna use to draw out your marquee. You're gonna use that to draw out your marquee, and then you're going to use this wood right here for your strips. But, like I said, you got a cheaper option down here. This is $50. This is $50 each. And then you got an option right here where I believe this is about 34. So this is the cheaper option, 39, okay? So this is 39, but you will have to still, you this like, you will have to caulk. You will have to caulk, you know, you will have to just worry about the wood breaking up and stuff. Once you get that, you don't have to worry about that, okay? You don't have to worry about any of those problems because this wood, it cuts smooth and everything is good with this. Okay, so once you get your wood, you're going to want to head over to the wood cutting area and ask them to cut your boards at 32 inches. You're going to get them to cut your placement board at 32 inches and one board equals three marquees. Okay, and you're going to want them to cut your other wood so it can, just so it can fit in your car. You'll use your 
table saw later on to make the strips. So you just want that cut into smaller pieces. So I just tell them 32 for both of the boards and it's just easy to use. So don't forget, write down 32 inches. This is what you're gonna tell them. And the cuts are not gonna be perfect. They're gonna be about a centimeter off because of the, um, the saw itself. So once it's making that cut, so once you get home and you notice that it's not actually 32, just don't be mad about it because it's going to be a little off, but that's fine. And the price of these four boards is going to cost 168, but that's fine because these four boards can make me up to six marquees. So that's a good price. You're going to need the table saw to cut down your boards that you got cut at 32. I use the Ryobi table saw. You're going to need a miter saw to cut out all your angles when you're framing your marquee. You're going to need a nail gun to nail in all your pieces together when you're framing. Make sure you have some nails for your nail gun. I use 18GA straight brad nails. You're going to need a circular saw to cut out the actual board after you draw your marquee out. You need a drill and a 3 4 bit to drill your holes for your lights. You need some type of sander to sand down your wood once you're done framing. You're gonna need some caulk to hide all the visible lines once you're done framing your marquee before painting. You'll need a few pencils to draw out your marquee and also to mark where your cuts are gonna be. You'll need some grips just in case you have to pull out any nails if you made a mistake. You're gonna need some wood glue and you're gonna apply this to every single board. You're gonna need some rollers. I use a straight roller and I use a T roller. You're gonna need both of these rollers. They're both gonna help you. You're gonna need a pair of these or you can use a table. I use these. You need something to help you hold your marquee up. Okay, so I just showed y'all every single thing that y'all gonna need. Everything that I, I told you, that's the only thing that you're gonna to need to make these marquees. Um, and obviously the lights are missing, so you're gonna obviously need the lights, but Everything that I just showed you is everything that you're gonna need. Nine inches is a special number, and this is how you're gonna make all your marquees. So this is how you're gonna draw out all your marquees. Everything is gonna be based on the nine. To make an eight, I have to figure out nine inches all across the board. So how I do it is I start from the bottom, the top, and I do either both sides, but in this case, I only need one side because the E, the base of the E is you know, it's across here, here, and here. So why would I make, why, would I, why do I have to figure out the distance between this side and this side when I only need one side? So really you gotta think logical, okay? So right now, all I'm gonna do is here, I'm gonna go find, I'm gonna get my T-square, put it up against the end of this um, wood. I'm gonna find down here, my both sides, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is, Measure it out, so I line it up, hit it with the line, okay? So you got that side. So this right here is gonna be the bottom of the marquee. This is the bottom. Okay, bottom. Let's get the top now. Same thing with the top. You're gonna to find the nine inches. Once you find it, you line it up with the T-square. Make your line, okay? Now, since the T-square is already in position, we got the top, we got the bottom. So now, we gotta get the base, we gotta get the other side of the T. Like I said, we only need one, we don't need both, we only need one. So, we're gonna do the same thing here. Nine inches, find nine inches. Line up that T-square to the wood. Make it on. All the way down. All the way up. Always to the top. Now, you see how we have the marquee. So now, as you can see, we basically have the marquee made. So what are we missing? We're missing that middle part. So this is how you want to find the middle of every single marquee that you do. The height is obviously 48. You know that's four feet. So you obviously know that the, the middle of four feet is gonna be two feet. So what do you do? You go here and you find the middle of the board, which is 24 inches, okay? Once you find the middle of the board, you know that it's 24 inches. What you're gonna do is find that, mark it there, line it up. 
you're gonna make the line straight across, okay? Now, you know where the middle of the board is. So this is how, this is gonna play a part. This is gonna play a part in every single marquee you make. So make sure you note this. Once you find the middle, now this is how you figure out. This is where, now you gotta go back to, once you find the middle, you have to refer back to the number nine, okay? So now, you want everything to be even, right? So this is nine inches here. So when I cut this out, it's gonna be nine here, nine here, and nine here, okay? So now you have the middle of the board, right? So obviously, so you're thinking to yourself, how are you gonna make this nine, okay? So how are you gonna make this nine? What's half a nine? What's nine divided by two? 4.5, right? So now what you're gonna do here is this is where your other ruler is gonna come into play. So you get your other ruler, right? And what you're gonna do is measure 4.5 from this line going up and 4.5 from this line going down. That's how you're gonna get your nine inches. So right now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put my roller here. 4.5 is there. So I know that this is the 4.5 line, you feel me? And then I go back up. I go up, I went down, I'm going up to find the other half. I see 4.5 is here, so I mark here. So now what do you do? You guessed it, you make your line. Okay, you make a straight line. I don't like to use this because even though I know that I made that line here, you just won't never, well, obviously it'll work, but just get your T and line it up. So all the lines will be even. Now with this, you don't have to, you don't have to go all the way to the end. You just have to make the line so you can know where it is. Okay. So we're gonna go from here, right about to, six inches like that. You won't you don't want this middle half to be so matter of fact you're gonna go off, you're gonna take it off your cross just to get a good habit you're gonna take it off your cross okay okay so now as you can see here we got our bottom we got our middle part and we got the top okay and we got the side so now how do we figure out when to close this E off you guessed it. You find the middle of the board going this way. So what do we do? We know, we know that this is 32 inches. What's half of 32 inches? 16, right? So you find the middle of the board by going on here and marking off 16, okay? Once you mark off 16, you then make that line. You line your key up, you make the line. Go all the way down, okay? You make the line go all the way down, right? Okay, so now, now you have your middle. Now you know, oh, this is dead. This is dead energy. You don't need this, this is dead space. So to get your mind right mentally, you're gonna to wanna to mark, well, if you had a marker, which I used to do, I used to get a marker and just trace out the marquee so I don't get confused, but now I don't have to do that because I made them so many times that I know what's the dead cut and what's actually needed, okay? So for you, I want you to do X's. If you don't have a marker, if you have a marker, just trace the outline that you made, okay? This is dead. This right here, this is all, that's all dead, okay? Now, we have, we just made the E. You see how simple that was? You see how easy that was? All these cuts is gonna be 45. Everything is gonna be 45. 45 here, 45 there, 45 here, 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 and that's it, you know? So this is why I'm telling you that the E, the J, the one, and the six is all similar. Now, I'm gonna time, la time lapse the rest of them so I'm missing a lot of footage. I thought I time-lapsed, but I guess I was rushing, so I couldn't really make sure. But I ended up drawing out all the marquees. So what you're about to see now is just me tracing over the marquees with a marker just so I can have a borderline to where I should do my cuts. And I know I missed the footage of me making the rest of the marquees, but just refer back to the E, and that's how I made every single marquee. Just remember the nine 
is the special number that you need to remember. All these are nine inches apart. Okay, so here I'm making the holes for the lights. So what I do first is find the middle of each section, which is four and a half because this is nine inches. And then from there, I figure out where they meet. So obviously you see, I have a line at the top, a line at the bottom. So that's where my first dot is gonna go. All the holes are nine and a half inches apart. So I just take my roller and go from the first dot and just keep going across. It's the same thing with the other letters, but in case you have a letter like the J, the first dot is always gonna be the four and a half inches off the top. So you're gonna start from the top and then you're just gonna take your ruler from that first dot and measure nine and a half inches going down and all the way around. As you can see, I made a mistake. This is why you always wanna mark the middle of every marquee you do. So this is how you're gonna measure out the lines and make sure everything is even. Okay, so once you make all the holes for every marquee you have, the next thing you're going to want to do is use your drill and your drill bit and drill out all the holes. And you could also come up with your own distance because I use this distance because I used to use five and a half inches, which is also a good way to do them. It comes out nice, but you'll also use way more lights. And I'm going to be using G40 string lights. So with this move, with me changing it to nine and a half, I use less lights and it, it looks less cluttered. My son came outside to check on me. He really wanted to be in here with me, but I'm rushing and I didn't want to have him in here while I'm trying to record and stuff because I like to watch him. Once you're done drilling all the holes for your lights, you're going to want to grab your circular saw and cut out your marquee. Make sure you're cutting outside or on the line. Never cut inside the line because it'll make your marquee uneven.
during this process, you can also use a jigsaw. I used to use a jigsaw, but I feel like the circular saw works much faster, but you'll have more control with the jigsaw. But I mean, you can use either one, it don't matter. So now you're going to want to grab your table saw and make your strips. I cut mine at six inches. It's going to get you 15 boards per sheet of plywood. You can also use five and a half inches. You can really use any distance you want, but I feel like the six works the best and it uses up most of the board. So I'll go with the six. Okay, so now we at the part where you're actually making the marquee, which is framing. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set the miter saw. So we have this six here. So you know the miter saw is gonna be at the 45 degree angle. All the cuts on this six is gonna be 45. And I know that because like I said, I already made this before and I know the angles that has to be cut. So this is 45 degrees. The J is 45 degrees. The E is 45 degrees and some of the some of the one is also 45 degrees what i'm doing is just putting the board up against the end of every single line and just making the line with the pencil and that's how i know where i'm making my cuts at but here you can use the the ruler when i first started out i used the measuring tape you can use the measuring tape just to measure each piece and that's how you'll know where you want but this is kind of what i've learned over the past year of making these and what's more comfortable for me once you get your measurement of each piece, all you're going to do is put some glue on the bottom and nail in the piece. And then you're just going to continue doing that for the rest of the process. One thing I want y'all to know is when you're making these and you're cutting out your strips, it's always better to cut more than less. Um, when I started out, even now, sometimes I cut less and it's more stressful because you can't use the piece or you got to use it in another board. But in order to maximize each um, board, you're gonna to wanna to cut more. It's better to cut more than less. So always remember that. I will definitely be making another video because um, as, I, as I was making this video, I really wanted to stop and show y'all and like bring the camera over to show you exactly what I was talking about. But I had 24 hours to get this project done, so. I didn't have much time, but I'll make sure I have good lighting, um, a better angle, and you know, I'm just having time. Like I'm not just rushing and I'm making the project just for y'all to learn versus actually being in the field, having to get this done 24 hours. So just enjoy the rest of the video. I'm just gonna time lapse the rest of this video and I won't be talking much because it's not really things that I can really explain in detail to show you exactly how to do over the voiceover because I would need my camera to actually show you.
okay, so now as I'm finishing up this one and then moving on to the A, you can see that the angle is going to change. So the angle from the 45 degrees is going to be 15 degrees. That's how you're going to make your A in the top of your one. It's going to be 15 degrees. Um, the rest of the video footage was deleted or just not recorded. So I, just, I don't have that footage. So this is actually the end of the video. And on the next clip is just the final product of what they look like. The footage of me actually sanding them down and painting them was lost and finishing this A was just not recorded. On the A is literally just all 15 degrees. So you're going to turn your miter saw to the 15 degree angle and make all your cuts at 15 degrees all the way around. Okay, so here is the final results. This is how they look. This is how they turned out. I see a couple of errors that I needed to fix, but I was rushing, so I couldn't make them exactly how I usually make them, but they turned out really, really nice. And I really hope that watching this video is gonna help you make some marquees yourself. Instead of paying all the money to rent them out or buy them, you can literally just go and make them yourself. I charged $60 each, so I made $300 from this. Well, I had to invest $168 in the wood, so I really made only $132. But now I have the marquees, and I can make more money off of those, and I don't have to make them again, you know. And you just really want to build your inventory as you go. So I, I advise you all to just invest in the power tools to make the marquees and then just make the rest of your inventory and you'll be able to make money. And you know, if, if you were an event planner, you can make your own marquees. You don't have to rent them out no more. But yeah, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video and I will be doing another tutorial. So make sure y'all comment below which number or letter I should make. And whatever one I see that's the most requested, then that's the one I'll make. And I'll make sure that I'm making the video just for y'all to learn. Mm -hmm.